Are the glory days of Austin over? Has it started losing that buzz that has made it the most desirable place for people to move to over the last several years? We're getting into it today, and we're gonna take a look at the most recent market report, which if you're looking to buy or sell a house here in the Austin area, you're gonna want this insight. Stay tuned. What's happening everybody, Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas, here with the Fenton Grossman Group and the ATX, back at it as always to educate you, inform you, keep you in the know when it comes to all things Austin, Texas real estate. So you're in the right spot. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any big developments here in the Austin area. And if you're looking to buy or sell a house, we help people like you every day that watch our videos and reach out. So of course, let us know if we could ever be of service. Um, all right, jumping into today's topic. We know that Austin has been one of the most popular cities, one of these cities that uh, every headline surrounding, you know, best places to live, best city to move to, best this, best that, Austin is right up there. And as a matter of fact, US News puts out a top list each year of their, the best cities to move to in the country. And from 2017 through 2019, Austin landed the number one spot, the trifecta, three years in a row. Uh, in 2020, they dropped to number three. 2021, they dropped to number five. And now the buzz of the town, uh, everyone's talking about it. You've probably seen the headline already, but Austin has dropped out of the top 10. It is now ranked number 13 in top cities to move to in the country. And I think we might know why. Now, before we get into the why about Austin, uh, keep in mind, it did keep the number one spot in Texas. So still seen as the top city to move to in the state of Texas. And I don't think that's gonna slow down the companies that are moving here that are relocating people um, and relocating their headquarters to the Austin, Texas area. But affordability has become a huge issue here. So for this year's ranking, they included a few different factors such as job availability, housing affordability, quality of life and desirability. And this year they added uh, a little bit about air quality for the first time. Now, keep in mind, there's about 146 people net moving to Austin a day. So people are still flocking into the city. And we all know with the rising in, rise in home prices, um, it's becoming less and less affordable for people to move here. So it really is, doesn't come as a surprise that Austin has now dropped so much because in 2017, 2018, 2019, it was a, an affordable city. Um, I moved here in 2013 and even coming up 2017, that's when I bought my first house and it was still pretty affordable. Now in my neighborhood, I would have to pay double to get the same house making this city a lot less desirable for people to move to. Now, one, one interesting point that um, one of the writers in the article made, they said, quote, people moving across the country today are putting more emphasis on affordability and quality of life than on the job market, which in many ways takes a back seat as remote work options have become more standard. So you look at a city like Austin, it's still an amazing place to be, great weather year round, um, a lot of outdoor activities, water activities, hiking, really whatever you want. Great food scene, great entertainment, music, all of that. But if you can't afford to live here and do those things and spend money going to restaurants, uh, enjoying the entertainment that Austin has to offer, then it might be a better place to visit as opposed to move and live full time. So do I think this is gonna affect people investing in Austin? Well, not a list like this. Um, however, the number one city on the list was Huntsville, Alabama. So maybe your ears should perk up and maybe there's some opportunity out in Huntsville. I don't know the market there, I don't know much about it, never been, but it's the first year that it's on it. And think about in 2017, the first year Austin was on it, if you invested here, what that would look like today. So this is a perfect segue into touching on the latest market report that just came out from the Austin Board of Realtors. And we talk about affordability in Austin. The home prices here obviously have been skyrocketing, no surprise to anyone. But let's take a look at the report that just came out. So in the Austin area, we saw the median price skyrocket up to $550,000. Again, this is Austin area. So Austin and surrounding suburbs, which is up 19% year over year. Days on market, still 18 days, no change year over year. Active listings are up 52%. So in April, saw a lot more inventory than we did the April before. That is a good sign. 
Also months of inventory are now at 0.8 months, which still is extremely low, Stream, extremely limited inventory. But this increase of 0.3 months year over year is one of the biggest year over year increases we've seen since 2016, 2017, I believe is what the, the ABOR article said. So this is a good sign. If you are looking to buy a home now, yes, interest rates are high, but we're starting to see inventory tick up, less competition, more options for you to choose from, maybe a way to snag that house that you've been looking for for so long. And again, to kind of re-emphasize the affordability issues in Austin, um, it's again, it's not just awesome. The suburbs have blown up, especially with work from home over COVID being such an, a, a popular thing to do. Um, the suburbs, people didn't have to commute downtown. So they were fine living out Bastrop, Round Rock, Georgetown, Liberty Hill, um, Kyle, Buda. The, Austin just continued to spread out. So in the city of Austin, we saw the median sales price rise to 640000 Months of inventory is still 0.7 months, so it's still extremely low. Until we exceed over a month, um, I don't think anyone's going to be too, too excited. But the signs right now in May, um, from what we're seeing, I would not be surprised if when the May report comes out next month, we see that inventory tick just right at or just above one month of inventory. So good news. And now just a quick comparison of some of the different counties, some of the different suburbs that surround Austin and what they've seen over the last year and what accessibility looks like for those counties. So Williamson County, which is up north where Round Rock, Georgetown, Leander, um, all those suburbs are in Williamson County. The median sales price was 510,000, which is up 18% year over year. Taking it out east to Bastrop County, 402,000, up 38% year over year. Caldwell County, which is where you'll find Lockhart, um, Niederwald, Ulin, some of these areas that I spoke about toward the end of last year that we're starting to see pick up traction and some eyes are going out that way, builders are going out that way. 365,000 me median sales price up 47% year over year. And finally, Hayes County, which is where Buda, Kyle, um, San Marcos is located, 477 thousand up 29 percent year over year so these suburbs that used to be the ones you can get in the 200s no longer options you're having to go way down even new Braunfels is tough to do that or if you go north of georgetown to gerald it's hard to get there under 300,000 now too so again what does this mean for you if you're looking to buy or sell inventory is picking up if you're looking to sell Understand that you might have more competition, might more, you might have more homes in the neighborhood that you are competing against that are that buyers will come in and compare yours to theirs. Does that mean that you are not going to get top dollar for your home? No, but you better take the advice of your agent. Hopefully your agent is giving you good advice when it comes to all the things you must do to get your house list ready, show ready. Um, if you need to stage it, stage it, do all those things and price it appropriately. Uh, compared to the, the current market. Um, if you're looking to buy, interest rates are what they are. Here's my advice, and I'm gonna continue to stick with this until they, uh, there isn't really a point of where they go up to where I'll, where I'll change my, my thought on this. But right now, as of today, they're in the, the low to mid 5% range. So 5.25, 5.5% around that range. That's what you know today. If you are looking to buy a house and you're ready, willing, able, lock in the rate, buy the house, lock in the rate, you're going to continue to see appreciation in the Austin area over the coming years. If rates go up to seven, you'll be excited that you locked in at five or five and a half. If they go down to three and a half, like they were earlier this year, even if it's another couple of years and then they go down to the threes, you can refinance. So you'll have options if they go down, down the line. If they go up, you don't want to be sitting saying, I wish I bought. Because buyer regret here these days, FOMO is kicking in big time. Um, it's a big factor in today's market. So as always, here to answer your questions about the awesome market, about how to compete as a buyer, how to get your home top dollar as a seller. So let us know if we can be here to help. If this video is helpful, give us that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any big developments here in the ATX. We'll catch you on the next one.